Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal. This is my daughter Vivian. Vivian say hi. Hi. Today we are going to eat together our ramen noodle. Yeah, look at my egg. Can you see it? It's a perfect egg. <laughs> and we just talk. Alright, enjoy your lunch Vivian. So we squeeze a piece of lemon juice into it. And you want the drop of sriracha. Is this sriracha or sriracha? Sriracha. 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 <laughs> My mom always calls it sriracha. You know what? what? I'm going to take one selfie uh, picture for the thumbnail. Vivian. You're not, you know it's not good to eat ramen every day. Mm. Mm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. It's addicting. Yep. I eat ramen once a week. That's my thing. I can eat this every day, like three times a day. I know, but it's so bad for you. Good and bad. So for your ramen, I fry the egg and mine, but I put it in. I crack it. Just mm -hmm. cook when it's when the water is boiling. Mm -hmm. Just crack the egg and put it. In. What do you prefer? Mm. I think fry egg is good. Crunchier. Yeah, more flavorful. More texture. Uh huh. When you cook ramen, don't just cook it by itself like that. You always add vegetable, mm -hmm. paste, um, I what I also did is I put green onion. I cut green onion and put in there. Mm -hmm. Veggie. Mm -hmm. Tastes really good. Mm -hmm. And the lemon. Mm -hmm. That lemon bring, is, bring, uh, bring out the flavor and then the sriracha. Mm -hmm. That's how I eat my lemon, uh, my uh, ramen. ramen. <laughs> I don't just eat it from straight from the pack. Look at this egg, so yummy. So how's everything, baby? Mm. Everything's fine. I mean, not looking forward to going back to school, but I kind of am at the same time. <laughs> I feel conflicted. Because you want to finish school, right? Start working? Mm-hmm. But mainly because of this pandemic, scared to go back to school. Mm -hmm. Right now they're having us do hybrid classes, so we rotate who could go to class. So one week 10 people go to class, another week ten, another 10 people go to class. Really? Yeah, so... That's what they want you get to do in August? Really? Mm -hmm. No online? No 100% online? Uh, there are some classes that are 100% online, but it's not offered in every section that I need to take. Mm. Does it mean, um, is Jaden going to start kindergarten or first grade in uh, August? Kindergarten. Start to start kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, because of the pandemic, I don't think his school is going to be in person. Mm -hmm. I think they're offering it online. Um, when I spoke to one of the, one of the HR, HR ladies, she told me that a lot of schools are following what LAUSD does. Uh -huh. And so at this moment, LAUSD is Los Angeles Unified School District. Mm -hmm. um, they're having students do online until January, and then after January, then they start taking kids back in person. Very good. 
But it's all to the each district's discretion. So whoever, oh. it's up to them. So, but mm -hmm. so so for right now, you don't know exactly what they plan to do. Mm -hmm. And is it going to be August or September school year begins for Jada? They haven't notified us. But that's mainly why I feel conflicted because I don't like uncertainty. Mm -hmm. um, I like to know like when I'm going to school, when Jaden's going to school, if I have childcare right now, and all that stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at hard. Yeah. Yeah. Everything right now is uncertainty. Yeah, exactly. That's why. But I'm nervous. We just pray for the best. Mm hmm. But the good thing is, at least you have me to fall back on, yeah. if anything. Yeah. So the reason, the reason I brought Vivian here is I have, um, I want to pick her brain as far as a um, psychology student, right? I want to ask her a few questions. First question is, why do you think people need therapy? Mm, I feel like everyone needs therapy in life. Um, it's like going to the doctors, you know, you go to the doctors annually to check up on your health physically and if you have a broken arm, you go get it fixed, right? However, with the mind, since it's invisible, you don't see if somebody's dealing with depression, anxiety, PTSD, whatever it is, because it's invisible, it's in your head. From the outside, nobody knows that, for the most part, nobody, people might not be able to tell that, you know, you're battling with something internally. And so with therapy, it's like, a doctor but for your mind and I feel like it's very important because your brain controls everything else if you're having depression and you're not able to sleep and all these things and it affects you know like your health ultimately so that's why I believe everybody needs therapy because in life you know I don't I don't personally know anybody who's never been through a traumatic situation or experienced something that's I don't know, just um, that took a toll on their well-being. So therapy is good. It just helps you. And you don't, like, I know back then there's the stigma that you go to therapy, you're crazy. But it's really not that, you know. Just because you go to the doctor doesn't mean you're handicapped. Same with therapists, you know. It just means you want to work on yourself and better yourself. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think my generation and up. We mm -hmm. still have that stigma that, mm -hmm. you know, going to therapy, there's something wrong with you, with you mentally. Mm -hmm. So, I, I remember long ago, when I had so much anxiety, I did have therapy sessions, but I, I only went one or two times. I think one. Uh -huh. I, I remember laying down on the couch and uh -huh. sharing my story with the therapist, mm -hmm. but I never really went through because, yeah, I had that that problem of seeing therapists like you don't want to believe that you're crazy because of the stigma right yeah so mm -hmm. I, I took myself out just one or two sessions but what I did for myself in terms of therapy is writing mm -hmm. so with me I write so often and so much and all my feeling all my thought on that negative thought I caught it in my writing and then from there I work on it but not so many people have that outlet of writing or singing. So if they, everything is boiled up inside and mm -hmm. that can cause a problem with relationship with others. So mm -hmm. Therapist is really, really good. Yeah, and journaling is a really good way, you know, like to drop your feelings down or even journal about your day so you can see, you know, like if there's a pattern, oh, I notice that I, you know, um, act out easily during these situations. I don't mm -hmm. like going out, blah, 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 whatever it is. You journal it and then you could analyze your feelings better and kind of be your own therapist in a way. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a lot of different, I guess, like 
tools people utilize, mm -hmm. such as journaling or talking to your friends or reading, exercising, meditation, whatever it is, it helps out. Um, there's also books online that you could buy. I recently bought a book. It's called Cognitive Behavioral Therapy in 10 Simple Steps or like mm -hmm. Made Easy, something like that. Uh -huh. And so I'm currently reading that book as well because I want to learn more about cognitive behavior therapy because I, in the end, want to be a cognitive behavioral therapist. Have you started reading the book? Yeah. Good. You want me to share it on the description if anyone is interested? Mm. Later on the link? Yeah, I could do that. So personally, have you had a therapist uh, sit down and talk to you? about your life? Mm -hmm. I went to cognitive behavioral therapy um, in 2017 and it was really good because during that time I did have a lot of anxiety as well and she taught me how my negative thoughts um, so this is there uh, this is cognitive behavioral therapy it's a triangle so everything you know affects each other so it's cognitive feelings and behavior so what you think, you feel it, and then you act out. Or how you act out, you feel it, and it changes how you think. Okay. So for me, I remember um, I was having a lot of negative thoughts, like, oh, this person doesn't want to talk to me, and all that stuff. And then my therapist um, got took my anxious thought and turned it into reality, like, okay, you're saying this person doesn't want to talk to you, but when you message this person, do they respond? Yes. And... Um, okay, so they're responding, so that shows that they want to talk to you. Do they ask you questions as well? Yes. You know, so she's like, see, these are your thoughts. You're saying you, they don't want to talk to you. However, these are the facts. You know, they are responding to you. They are talking to you. They're engaging in conversation. And so um, that was really helpful for me just moving on forward through life because whenever I notice that I think negatively about a situation, um, I try to catch that my way of thinking and then try to make it more realistic like okay this is how i'm thinking but what is what is actually going on you know with the situation okay so you used to think of a, a regular situation you turn it into a negative for some reason mm -hmm. yeah i remember i had negative thought like so so much so long it's 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 so crazy and i didn't know where they come from and when when the negative thought occupied my my mind i see everything is dark mm -hmm. everything is like blooming and glooming and like there's no future it's like what's the point you know that kind of be that feeling like hopelessness yeah and it's overwhelming i was like why is this coming from so uh, what I what I did, uh, it was just as recent as last year. I start writing down the date that it, that that the negative thought overcome my mind, mm -hmm. and I was like overpower my my feeling. Mm -hmm. And then I I I I, uh, I put out the day and I was like, okay, this day it happened, and then that day happened, and then also I looked into it's like why why did it come. Why? It, why did it trigger the mm -hmm. negative thought? And from what from what I see is because lack of sleep. Mm -hmm. So lack of sleep can do a lot of bad things to your mind, mm -hmm. especially to those that who already have a depression symptom. Mm -hmm. It it gets to them more than the average healthy people. So be, once I realized the trigger, which is lack of sleep, caused that. I focus on my sleep, which is like, sleep is my priority. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> I mean, by 10.30, I'm in bed. Um, even weekend, the latest is 11, because I know that I want to have a you know, positive day. I don't want to scream at people, yell at, because I know myself, I can have a very sharp tongue. You remember when I long ago I, I like screaming yelling and doing crazy stuff because I couldn't control myself the negative thought so yes mm -hmm. 
Your mind can be very powerful. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And sleep is really important. I was watching a video about sleep um, recently on YouTube. It talks about when you go to sleep, you need to hit REM sleep. So REM sleep, I forgot what it stands for, but it's pretty much your brain um, rapid. processing. Yeah, rapid. rapid eye movement. Mm -hmm. Rapid eye movement. So when, you're, when you hit REM sleep, your eyes... You close your eyes, but it's like moving back and forth, moving back and forth. And so when it's doing that, it's processing your whole day. Uh, it processes your whole day. And I guess like, uh, do you remember? Oh, no. So it processes your day and it helps you like, um, I guess like, I don't know, understand your day a little bit better. I need to watch that video again. But so going talking about REM sleep, um, there's actually a therapy that I think it's like dialectical eye movement therapy. I don't remember what it's called, but my friend is actually interested in learning more about that therapy and she discussed it with me recently and that's when I looked into REM sleep. Mm -hmm. So um, the therapist will have talk therapy with you while like moving her fingers, his or her fingers back and forth. So like you're focusing your eyes back and forth on that your finger and it helps you process it. And then when you go to sleep, you'll remember that. Or like they'll do like tapping your shoulder back and forth, back and forth. So I don't know. That looks really cool. I want. I kind of want to look into that as well. Um, so you really need to have a REM sleep. Like um, you need to have every night. You have to have REM, REM sleep. Yeah, and you. Everybody has sleep cycles. So you know, I don't. Like I said, I don't really study this that much. But um, so like there's the light sleep, and then the light sleep is when you're able to wake up the easiest. And then there's like your there's i think there's like three cycles i'm not sure but once you hit REM sleep that's your deepest sleep and you're pretty much completely paralyzed um in your sleep and your eyes are moving back and forth and that's just your brain processing everything that happened throughout the day for you mm, yeah interesting. so people who do lack sleep um they i guess they're more like disoriented and you well, know like irritated mm -hmm. more negative mm -hmm. feeling thinking everything sleep affects affects you very much. Mm -hmm. I remember when you and Jay, uh, Charlie was younger. Oh my God! The first ten years, actually, I didn't know what it's like to have a a full night of sleep. Wow, that bad, right? Because most most uh, Vietnamese parents they like to sleep with their children. Mm -hmm. Even so, I remember this. Before you, uh, we brought you home from the hospital, we had a, a crib for you, right? Mm -hmm. And then, the night when we got home, you were, I would place you in the crib, but in the, in the middle of the night, I just took you out mm -hmm. and let you sleep with me. So it become like, I'm so attached to you, and, and because of that, you attach me. Yeah. So, we'll, and you know, sleeping with children is hard. Any oh, yeah. movement, you feel it, and you wake up. Especially mm -hmm. when you and J uh, Charlie was having fever, I couldn't sleep because I was worried. So that affects the, the day because you can't sleep, you uh -huh. can't function, and your mind somewhere else. So it was really dark mo um, period of my life from thirty to forty. So wow, wow. no, from twenty five to thirty five, the whole ten years of darkness because lack of sleep mine is just going crazy mm -hmm. but now I'm in my since I think in my 40 that's when I take better care of myself mm -hmm. sleeping 40 50 so in the last 10 years mm -hmm. so I'm happy and I was like I trade anything for a good night's sleep yeah that's me mm -hmm. So in conclusion, you believe that therapy is good for everybody. Yeah. Therapy is good, and if you cannot take care, do it yourself. You all you need to do is just contact your um, medical doctor, and make an appointment, mm -hmm. and ask to see a doctor and sit down and talk. Mm -hmm. um, not only they listen to you, but they give you guidelines, right? Uh -huh. How to follow uh, exercise. How long were you in the uh, with the therapist? Mm. So Three cognitive months. behavior therapy is more short short term therapy. There are other therapies that are like years long, 
But for cognitive behavior therapy, I went to about eight or nine sessions once a week. Yeah, okay. But pretty much everybody that's close to me in my life, my boyfriend, my boyfriend's sister, my son, who's only five, um, myself, my cousin, everybody, like, I always recommend therapy for them. And so I've got a lot of people to get interested in therapy or is currently going to therapy. Wow. Mm Mm-hmm. You just haven't gotten me in in therapy. Well, I think I'm you. You have Kaiser, Mom. You have good insurance. You can definitely get a good therapist through Kaiser. It doesn't... You can never be healed, you know? Like, therapy, that's just like going to the doctors every year, right? Like, you need to go to the doctors, check on you physically and all that stuff. So, therapy is just good. It's like talking to somebody who's not going to argue with you. Talking to somebody who's just there to listen to your problems and sometimes that just feels so good like you're able to you know unload all of your feelings onto a unbiased person and they could just you know help you like oh okay well i see i see this pattern in your life like you know what do you think are some ways you could change that to better your life Mm -hmm. so it's not about like i'm healed i don't need therapy anymore um it's just you know like it's good it's self-care okay yeah, it's like going to get your nails done, right? You don't need to get your nails done, but you do it because it makes you feel better. Just like therapy. You don't need to go to therapy for some people, but you do it to make yourself feel better. It's like you have a good one hour just for yourself to talk about yourself, to talk about your problems to somebody who's not going to fight with you when you talk to them <laughs> about your problems. True. That sounds like a good idea. Mm-hmm. Maybe uh, after all this over next year, I can look into that. Well, because of the pandemic, therapists aren't meeting with clients anymore in person. They're actually doing telemental health, so they could either call you on the telephone and talk to you, or they could Zoom, have a Zoom meeting with you, so it's a lot easier, a lot more accessible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to leave your house. You could just be upstairs doing therapy for an hour a week. Wow, that's that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely look into that. Because right now, um, I'm working on my improving my physical health so, and that, and then I'll work on my mental health and, and hopefully I'll be wholly healthy, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? All right. Um, thank you everyone for spending your day with us, watching our shows, and I hope... Um, uh, you get something out of this talk. I'm so happy that Vivian enjoyed me in her uh, uh, TED talk. TED talk. <laughs> in her knowledge in therapy, that mm-hmm. everyone should get it, regardless if you think you are okay or not, because most people need it, and it's good to 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 take care of it before it gets worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Vivian. Of course. Thank you, Thank you for making me food. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. We'll...